Welcome back to Strategy Guides, and now it's time for more Ride Out of Stories. So we track down Anastasia, the person who hired us. And we paused right at the start of a cinematic. These are the chambers of Our Lady Anastasia. Of the okay, you don't need to have an attitude about it. She is certainly not accustomed to dealing with riffraff. What is it that you want? Riffraff? Sheesh, nice welcome. Lady, it was you who called us, okay? We are the Hectum Squad of Theater Vancourt. Hear about the crop again. Oh, of course. Wait here. Okay. Go fetch <coughs> the go fetch the missing Russian princess for us, will ya? What's her problem? Answer. Seriously, why is she such a bitch? No, yeah, no. Yeah, she's got big lips. She looks just like me. Oh gosh, her teeth! Oh gosh, her teeth! Oh gosh, her teeth! Oh, kill it! Kill it with fire! I am sure you have heard of me. Oh my gosh, please, someone kill it. Kill it now. I see that you have been struck dumb by my beauty. It's not that lady. <laughs> yes, indeed, Lady Anastasia. Beauty? No one's talking to you. Now, now, Elena, that is enough. Yes, Lady Anastasia. Oh, oh gosh, please Where make it stop, please. It's, going it's to gonna Anastasia give me questions. nightmares. This is it. It's like the big lips, if the big lips weren't bad enough, she's got these horrific yellow, hey, long what's she doing? teeth. She is appraising the hive. Lady Anastasia has a remarkable eye for quality. Oh, really? You sure she's not just faking it? If you're rude to her ladyship one more time, you'll have seen your last sunrise, smart boy. <laughs> Do not worry. When it comes to crocodiles, no one has more discerning judgment than I. I wonder. Ah, please, every time she opens her yes, mouth, it freaks me out. Oh, 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 please, please, no, no more torment. Yes, <laughs> well, we got our pay. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, that wasn't very much. What's this? Your payment. This? This is it? Darling. This skin is a very Oh gosh, please quality. stop it with the mouth. Hardly worth my time. Did you even look at it properly? Keep the skin if you're not satisfied. Then what are we supposed to do with the scrap of crockide? Jack! Don't be so rude to the clients. If you don't like it, try doing a proper job in the first place. Oh, it seems the guild standards are slipping. Ugh, she's like the new Ridley. The this. new bitch on the street. That was funny music. It's been a while since we had a funny music cue. Hey, we found Daniel. Sergeant! Daniel! You're going to pay for skipping out on the mission! Yes, sir. I'll accept any punishment you choose, but... But what? The Crocodator? Of course. It was our job. I knew it. Why are you moping? It's just an overgrown lizard. Just an overgrown lizard? Animals are living creatures too. Sure, but come on. You eat meat, don't you? I do not! I don't eat meat! I couldn't do that! Not in front of Isabella! Oh, haven't you heard? Hey, Daniel's I vegan. Bingo! Really <laughs> Isabella, you keep talking about. And that was for the Scott Pilgrim fans out there. Yeah. She's been with me since I was little. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Isabella is one of the family. <laughs> uh, Daniel. Uh, I'll never ever hunt crocodiles, no matter how many times you ask. I won't do it even if you fire me. I don't want to Try take another job me. doing this anyway. Boy, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 
Anyway, <laughs> yes, <laughs> mission is done. That'll be all for today. Your dismissal. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Can, am I free to add people to my party now, please? And, and take that submission to get the yeah. one guy? Right. Okay, let's Thanks. go to Theater Vancouver. So you just have to add a female to your party and... Whoa, look at all these people. Lords. Okay. Oh. That's... Who's, okay, good, I got to it. Now, you get the wonderful decision. Lily, Lily, of course. She's level 27. What? They said she was only level 22. Lies! Okay, that guy's freaky. Cosmo's okay. Let's see who else we got. Not Gomber. <laughs> Ernest. Marietta. We should we should put Ernest in it in the party and and take him up on that. Uh, remember, he said he'd play us back, uh, the best background music when yeah. we're in a battle. At least we finally take get to see the um, the fruits of our labor from all that recruiting. Never using you, Jared. <laughs> Ooh, Cornelia. Oh, I want her to transform self. Huh. Uh, Bruce, Pinky, Edgar. Some of these guys that look at him like, yeah, I'm never using you. Or you. <laughs> or you. Or you. Or you. Might use Flora, though she's got... Oh, Iden. We gotta add Iden. Because to get one of the characters, we have to get him to level 30. Oh, okay. Jeez, <laughs> My gosh, Lily, I'm so glad- okay, it was worth it, dude. Look at their level. Like, no one else- Well, they all have all- No one else is, like, level 27. They all have, like, special abilities or something. Okay, actually, I don't think we have any healers yet, so I think I'll add Flora. Sure. Shora, Shora, go add Flora. I used Flora a lot in my previous run of this game. Okay, there. We got a party set up. And uh, we got a girl, so we can go f maybe we find... We got two girls. We can maybe go find that uh, one guy. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We have a few things to do. Um, actually, let me check and see if I can I can take on a subquest real quick. And then we'll go and look around. How do you take on subquests? I have no idea. Work for you, kid. Hurry, take one of these. Oh. Beast, of the, beast by the Bridge. Masterpiece of Fantasy. Smil Smilodon. Fang. We need to take this. This is the one that uh, lets you. Okay. Brave warrior needed to gather Smilodon fangs. Needed to make Pansia. Come to Alashian for further details. My client is a guy named Dwight from the priest. Smilodons are real tough customers. But, but go find Dwight first. His place is in the Alashian order. He'll fill you in on the details. Okay, so. Okay. Now we got our sub-quest. There. Now and... I can actually get Grant and Dwight, because we're on the quest. Goody. Finally. Um, so, go talk to Grant. Okay. But first I'm gonna talk to the, um, in later. In later. In lady. In later? In later. The fact is, my son has a very sick- was a very sickly child. He would just stay in his room all day. He's just not used to strangers. Please try to be okay. So she just tells us one thing and then she just yeah. repeats that. Okay. So if we is that him? No, that that's not him. That's not him. He's usually um at the side of Theater Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there he, is. there he is. Hey, do you hate strangers or something? Are you trying to make me mad? What? Enough already. Okay. Good. We talked to him again. Um. So there's that. One guy, uh, the guy who we just need a girl in our party. Not sure where he is, but he's... You can look him up on his schedule. Yeah. Okay, it is about one in the afternoon, looks like. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's check out uh, Paul. Paul is his name. I wonder what some of these abilities do. I mean, luck plus, prevent, petrify, status cure, those all sound uh, pretty self explanatory. Okay. But sharp edge? Okay. What does sharp edge do? Okay, it was, um. So, one. At one o'clock, he's. He's gonna. Well, he's gonna be at the Eisenhower Pharmacy Garden. 
forever. Yikes. Okay. I go to the pharmacy. Let's go down here. Eisenhower Pharmacy. You know, when seeing some of the cutscenes and whatnot, I, okay, I sometimes get that. the feeling that Jack was a oh, bit of a I, rascal I, yeah, when I know he was the, younger. I know where the pharmacy is. I often get the feeling that Jack was kind of a rascal, a rascal when he was younger. Speaking of which, I can personally relate. <laughs> uh, there was this one time in elementary school. I, I was a I was a big kid in elementary. Don't go place. back. Anyways, I was a big kid throughout pretty much my entire school time, whatever, and. Some guy, some guy decides that he was just going to cut in front of me in the lunch line, and and you know I wasn't I wasn't taking bullshit from no one, so uh, I physically lifted him up, turned around, and placed him back down behind me. It's like no cutting, asshole. <laughs> yeah, he told me about that, and that. Wow, I would have liked to have been there to see that, but that would require time travel. <laughs> Speaking of time travel, I saw um, X Men Days of Future Days of Future Past. Days of Future okay, good. I thought that's yeah. what it was. Uh, I, he yeah. invited me to go to the movies with him, but I, well, to be perfectly honest, I didn't know what time he was going, and I ended up sleeping in this morning. Paul, so. Yeah, here he is. Okay, you ready? Let's get this guy to join us. Hey, I know you. You're the guy everyone's talking about. Hi. Man, you hero types sure have it good. Look at all your friends. Yeah, well... Hey, why don't you take me along too? Huh? You don't have to pay me anything. Well, a little stipend would be cool. I can help you and all your friends out too. Well, how about... <laughs> what do you say? Come on. Okay, I guess. Yes! Now you can let me know if you need help with the ladies, okay? I'm gonna be on you like a fly on the sh sheep, so don't let me down. Okay, we got Paul. Yay! Is that the pharmacy you needed to be in? Yep. Okay, so, so we got we're... him. Uh, Doesn't oh. Grant go to that pharmacy? Grant. Let's see where Grant is at this time. Grant. And after you look up Grant, remember that you were talking about X-Men Days of Future Past. Yeah, X-Men Days of Future That movie was amazing. But it's like one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. And I've only seen it once. Um, you want to know what's else amazing about it? Spoonie likes the movie! Yeah. He nitpicked it to he, death, but he likes the movie. He really likes it. Uh, let's see. What? Okay, I need to look at his, work, his um, schedule. Uh, so, it's... It's three in the afternoon. Cinematic. Really? Welcome back, every <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So, I ran around town looking for Grant and Dwight. Couldn't find either of them, even though I have a strategy guide that tells me exactly where they are. At or where what they're supposed to at be. What, at whatever time. And I couldn't find either of them. And uh, I figured, oh, I'll sleep and move the clock ahead, because then it'll be easier to find them, because they won't be sleeping. And then, cinematic, so welcome back. Stupid, ignorant, stupid pumpkinhead. Well, look who it is. Who wants to be a warrior anyway? There are all kinds of jobs in this town. I won't work for just anybody. Well, if only that were true. The fact is, I wish I were in Jack's shoes right now. Oh, that pitiful voice. It must be the sound of my own weeping heart. Wait, no it isn't. There's a child crying somewhere. Somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, tiptoe around. Hello. Just passing by. I heard you crying, 
So I thought I'd stop and see if I could damn her. It's mother. She's gone. Aha, you've lost your mother, have you? Well, let's go look for her together. No, not me, the kitten. His mother's lost. <laughs> the cat's mother? Yeah. He looks, he looks so, so sad. sad. <laughs> Oh, look at the cute blurry kitty face. Why don't you come with Uncle Gans and we'll look together? Really? You do that? Thanks a lot, Grandpa. <laughs> Uncle will be fine. We'll <laughs> find her before the day is out, I'm sure. Yeah, good luck okay. doing that, Grant Gans. I can't even find a regular human being. When I first saw his name, I almost thought that it was Grant, the guy we were looking for, and it's like, no, wait, it's Gans. We, it's been forever since we've seen him. Yeah. I've got uh, to stop being Black this. screen? Okay. It's all worked out, didn't it? I told you we'd find his mother. Yeah. Now we just have to get you back to your mother. Cody! Are you alright? You dirty kidnapper! You oh, get your hands off my boy right now! <gasps> Mom, no! You've got it wrong! The old man was helping me! Poor Gans. What? This bum is going to join us? Uh huh. I already talked to the boss. Oh, the he's gonna party. join the void. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Rika, are you sure about this? This guy seems a bit, you know, slow in the head or something. I think so too. <laughs> Look at his face. So why let him in? <laughs> I don't know. Morbid curiosity, maybe. I don't know about this. Biggie. Right. And the time is seven. My gosh, I, I congratulations, Roddy Atta story. You you've done it. You you. Hey, look, it's the it's the two girls from the previous. Seen you around here before. Yep. Do you like me or something? You can pick me up that easy. Hi. Me? I'm just sitting here. I'm not interested in you. Hi. You should stop going out so much at night. Guys who hang out at night are no good. You know what I mean? Hi. So okay, she's done talking with me. Yeah, so congratulations, Roddy, out of story. You stories, you have made it so that I found neither person I was looking for, and now I'm I'm done. I'm just we had cinematics and we had some good times, and I'm done. I'm I'm done. I'm not. I'm, when when we come back in the next episode, I will be in front of the character I want to talk to. Okay, I'll just, just be there, and I won't have to go gallivanting around and then cut it out. <laughs> gallivanting, I like that word. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, it's lots of cinematics at least. And now I'm going to save. I just slept, so I don't have to do that. Jarvis, get the heck out of my save window. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's bad. Hey, who put this kid in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun, kind of. <laughs> we'll see you next time for... More recruiting, I'm gonna fall down on this bed forever.